one of the most hotly contested congressional seats in Minnesota just got a little hotter. A Democratic Congressman Rick Nolan said today he is retiring from public office and will not seek re-election in November. Bill Hudson had a chance to catch up with a six-term congressman today and has more on his decision. What's going on, Bill? Uh, he's just uh, ready to retire, Frank. Uh, the 74-year-old Democratic Congressman says it's simply time. Rick Nolan has represented Minnesotans in Washington since 1975, serving stints in both the 6th and the 8th District. He will serve out this term, but not run for re-election in November. I hope the election gods are with us tonight. <laughs> Rick Nolan was among the newcomers voted into Congress in the wake of Watergate. But returning to MSP Airport today after a late night on the House floor, Nolan said it's time for family. Now's the time to give something back to the family. Pass the baton to a, a new generation uh, in politics and spend more time with the family. Nolan took the 8th District back from Republican Chip Cravac in 2012 and won narrow victories over Stuart Mills in both 2014 and again last election. Hamlin political science professor David Schultz said Nolan's retirement will both open the door and wallets. This will be a race that will attract outside national attention and it'll probably be a 25 or 30 million dollar congressional race. Former FBI and Homeland Security analyst Leah Pfeiffer announced her campaign for the Democratic seat back when it looked like Nolan was going to take a run for governor. We have a lot of women running, we have a lot of younger people running, and this is our opportunity to have another Watergate baby moment where we elect 50 or more Democrats to Congress to be able to really get change. Nolan says both age and family weighed heavy on his decision but adds the district is rich with the next generation of leaders. And this is not a decision that uh, just uh, popped up and evolved uh, overnight. It's been coming for a long time. Well, the clock is ticking. The nominating convention is April 14th in Duluth, leaving precious little time for newcomers to enter the race. Finally, Nolan was asked if his daughter's battle with lung cancer played a role in his decision. He said it certainly is a reminder of what's important in life. So he's been around a long time, just figures it's time to call it quits. Interesting. All mm -hmm. right. A $25 million seat. My goodness. Yeah, Brian. expensive race. Very. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you.